Hey guys, so I am obviously filming a look for the Wicked Witch for the Wizard of Oz or um, Wicked or whatever. But I kind of have to hurry because it's kind of a little bit weird and complicated. Um, actually, we did the Wizard of Oz, but I made this look more inspired by Wicked because the to get that neon shade of green that the Wicked Witch is, like from the classic movie, is really tough. So I went for like the Wicked kind of shade of green. And I'm just going to get into it and it's just going to be crazy. Um, but hopefully you pick up something. So, I'm going to take Kelly Green Professional Clown Series makeup. It's by Ben Nye. And it's just like a little um, disc of cream. And I'm going to take a good old paddle brush and just load that up. I actually used sponges on the person. I actually did this person's makeup. Like, I did it before the show because we had someone play um, the human of the witch. And then we had someone play the wicked witch. And so I had time to do her makeup. Um, sadly, I'm better at doing it on the girl than myself. There's some things that, um, could be better, but hopefully I'll explain it a little bit well. Um, so I'm just covering the face with this green color. This, in the show, this went on her ears, her neck, her hands, her feet, her neck. It was like, it had to go everywhere, and that the poor girl was, like, miserable half the time. But, um, yeah. It's showbiz, you know what I'm saying? I felt bad, though, but I tried to make it as painless. We had a good time, that was fun. Um, so yeah. You could opt for the whole neon shade of green if you want, but this is just inspired by more of like the modern Wicked kind of green, because I like Wicked a lot more. And we use sponges, but honestly, like t this, the 190, or any like paddle brush like this, I'm sure it would work the same, um, works really well, like it's amazing how it works at covering the face quickly. And I'm course, of course I'm not gonna like blend into the hairline stuff as they normally would, but you should. Yeah. So we're, we're going for um, the idea here, not exactly precise details. Yeah, cover your face in green. Pretty simple. Next, I'm gonna go on to the eyes. So I'm going to take my good old black track fluid line, which I use in literally every single look ever, and just a flat synthetic brush. And in the show, we actually didn't do this, but I just added it today because I was like, why not, right? And I'm just going to cover the eyelid with this black. You see that? And make it... I've put on way too much. Um, you can make it kind of messy. We're going for like a smoky eye here. It's really, it's really weird. Um, I know this looks really messy, but that's okay. That's the point. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Just to get this really grungy, smoky effect. This is actually what I wanted for the show, but I just never really had time for it. Um, and make, and like, kind of focus it on the inner, like, towards the um, inner part of your eyebrow to give it more of, like, the um, sunken in effect. So make sure to get in there, too. And just blend it out. No harsh lines. But if it's messy, that's okay, because I think she needs to look really evil. I should have brought a tissue or something. <laughs> Um, yeah. So then, I'm going to, for concealer, I'm going to use Max Chroma Line in Landscape Green. I don't think I sh showed you this ever. But I have like five of these, and they're like amazing. And I'm going to find a clean finger. And it's like really pigmented. It's just this like creamy green. It's just amazing. It's meant to be used as like body art and liners. But I'm, I'm basically using it as a concealer. And you can also use this kind of like to just touch up, like fill in little patches. It's kind of amazing. So don't be afraid. Just use your hand or finger or whatever. And like, seriously, it's just like, it's perfect at just getting into all those places. So Chromaline, it's where it's at. You need it in your life. I believe they're all on the MAC website, except for the yellow one, which makes me angry because I really want it. But, you know, it's like sold out apparently. Um, so then I'm going to take the Mineralized Eyeshadow Duo from Venomous Villains, the Maleficent thing. And I'm going to take this, like, black and green kind of color. You, you can just take any kind of black and green color. And I'm just going to take a fluffy shadow brush. Any kind of dark foresty green. This one I am using because it has, like, glitter. And I'm just going to pat that on top of it. And with the black base, it's just going to pop and... Not really pop, but it's going to give it that dimension that it needs. 
Yeah, just smoke that out and just blend it up. Just go for it. I'm a little bit more messy on this side than the other eye, but that is okay. So yeah, that is that. Next I'm going to put some black, not brown, black <laughs> eyeliner on the waterline. Pretty simple. Then I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Carbon by Mac, just a black eyeshadow, and a small pencil brush. Get some black eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna kind of line the lower lash line a little bit. And you can also take the black and kind of intensify the black on the top if you need it. I'm just gonna like deepen it up a little bit in the crease. Yeah, just like that. So yeah. Smoky green eye. Now here's where I put on mascara, but I had waterproof on earlier, and it's a little bit still on, but I'm not going to put on more. So yeah, that is basically it for the eye, except for at the end. And for the eyebrows, this girl, the girl that did the roll, needed her eyebrows filled in. Um, I don't really need it, but I'm just going to do it anyway. It's for the color. The, um, it's just like a dark brown. It's Coffee Pounce by MAC. I My eyebrows are actually darker than it, but on the girl whose eyebrows were pretty light this looked it was quite a quite a change for her so just fill them in to get that really strong dark brown brow and just gonna take a little spoolie brush work it there a little bit and voila now onto the rest of the face I'm going to contour with Bottle Green. It's an eyeshadow. It's like a MAC Pro eyeshadow. Let me see if you can find another thing if you don't have it. And I'm going to take a 109 brush and I'm going to like squeeze the brush and like dip it into that Bottle Green and I'm going to suck in the cheeks and I'm going to like dab it into the hall of my cheek to create a contour. Really kind of simple technique. Just using the same shade green but a darker shade of it to create a shadow effect. This would be a lot easier if I didn't have to use a small little mirror, but... I hope you can see that. There, you can, you can kind of see it. You can make it as harsh or as light as you need. Just to create the dimension. And on the other side, I did it up there too, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to ignore that. But you could put up in there too, contour a little bit. Then I'm going to take a blending brush and take more of that bottle green. And I'm going to contour the nose. So just kind of like, so like I kind of drew a line and then I'm just going to blend it down. And this will create this fabulous shadow to give you that creepy evil nose. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There you go. Mm. And a couple more things. I'm going to take Landscape Green Pigment. I showed you this a while ago. And it's just like a neon green pigment. And I'm going to pour a tiny bit out onto the back of my hand. Tiny bit. Um, and I'm going to take that same 109 brush. You see it? Do you see it? It's on my hand. And I'm just going to like dab it in to get a little bit on my brush. And then I'm going to like dab it onto the cheekbones. Like on the high planes of my cheek. And it's going to create this really ghastly kind of highlighting effect. Again, with the whole same shade of green, or the same color green, but different shades of it to create the contour effect in the highlight. And in the show, I also took it down the nose a little bit. And chin, or wherever else you need, but I'm, for the purpose of today, I'm just going to put it there on the cheekbones, just to give it some more dimension. And it looked really good on stage. And to finish, I'm going to take a chartreuse kind of green color a chartreuse green and pop that on the inner corner of the eye. I just did this on like the last couple nights and I just think it was really fun. It's a fun little pop. And then to finish finish, I'm going to take Botanical OCC Lip Tarts, just like a green, and I'm going to put that on my lips. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Doesn't that look gross? Ugh. Wicked. So that is my Wicked Witch look. 
Trust me, it looked better with it better with a giant hat and she had this crazy black hair and doesn't look quite as cute.